So in the last video you learnt about electron domain and molecular geometry and now I'm going to focus on the bond angles and the deviation from the bond angles due to the presence of lone pairs and I will take up some examples also. Let's refer, uh, let, let's refresh our memory on huh? central and surrounding atom. Consider the compound uh, methane which is shown, so, uh, shown there CH4. The carbon is the central atom and there are four hydrogen around it. The four hydrogens we can call them as a surrounding atom or they are also called as electron domain. So this means that this compound methane has four electron domain and what does it mean is I have one carbon as a central atom and four hydrogen as a surrounding atom or uh, four hydrogen as the electron domain and this is an AB4 type of molecules. With this as the background, we can go further and learn more. So, uh, what is it uh, this video focuses on is, it tells you about bond angles and how it changes because of the presence of lone pairs. So, the first type of molecule, AB2 type, has an electron geometry which is linear and the uh, diagram is also shown there. And uh, the second, and it has two lone, uh, bond pairs and no lone pair. So the molecular geometry also remains linear, and the bond angle is 180. The second type, AB3, the electron domain geometry is trigonal planar, and the diagram is also shown there how it actually looks. And this can have three bond pairs and no lone pair. And then the molecular geometry is also same as the electron geometry and that's the trigonal planar and the bond angle is 120 and bond pair can be two and it can have one lone pair and the molecular geometry will be then bent and the bond angle changes to 109 later uh, in another video we have an example for all of them and we do have a consolidated list of all these also it is necessary that you learn the uh, bond angles of the electron domain geometry where there is no lone pair. So the next one we, we did AB2 and AB3. The next one is AB4 type of molecules. The electron domain geometry for AB4 is tetrahedral and we should see that what happens when a lone pair comes. The tetrahedral shape is, is shown over there. So in this case I can have different situation. I can have no lone pair then the molecular geometry is also tetrahedral and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. You need to remember this bond angle. But I can also have a case where I have three bond pairs and one lone pair. And the molecular geometry becomes trigonal pyramidal. We did this in the previous videos also. And the bond angle becomes less than the tetrahedral bond angle. I can also have a bond pair of two and lone pair of two and giving me a molecular geometry of bent and a bond angle lesser than the tetrahedral angle. So what is it I want you to learn is, learn the bond angle for the perfect molecule where there is no lone pair and then you'll, you will see that the bond angle decreases due to the presence of lone pair. Now the next one after AB2, AB3, AB4 should be AB5 type and the electron domain geometry of an AB5 type is trigonal bipyramidal and the shape of a trigonal bipyramidal looks as shown there and the angles are we can have more angles they can be a 90 and 20 and the angle between the BAB is also 180 I have shown the pictures if you have uh, one lone pair and two lone pair also so look at it the angles have changed you don't have to memorize it. This is just shown there to give you an idea how the angle changes. And uh, we have different situation here with uh, all bond, five bond pairs and no lone pair. And we can have four bond pairs, one lone pair, three, two and two and three. The molecular geometry changes accordingly from trigonal bipyramidal to seesaw to T-shape to linear. And the bond angles also changes. So what you need to remember is the bond angle for the perfect shape, the trigonal bipyramidal shape. 
the next type of molecule AB6 type and uh, we know that the electron domain geometry for this is octahedral and uh, octahedral molecule looks as shown there with one uh, central atom with three uh, six surrounding uh, uh, atoms and here also a perfect octahedral molecule has a bond angle of 90 and 180 and depending on the presence of lone pair 1, 2 or 4 the uh, molecular geometry changes to square pyramidal, square planar or linear and the bond angle also changes. So here I give you a consolidated list of all the things which you learned so far like when you have uh, linear I have only one kind of bond angles but for trigonal planar we have two and for tetrahedral we remember you remember we had three and for trigonal bipyramidal we had four and for octahedral again we had four so this is a consolidated list of whatever you learned uh, before keep it in front of you when you are answering questions i don't tell you that you have to memorize everything just memorize those angles which is no lone pairs and all the other angles uh, we will just ask question in such a way that uh, whether it deviates or not deviates. So the presence of a lone pair always changes the bond angle. Predict, let's do some examples now. Predict the molecular geometry type and bond angle. The first example I'm going to take is BCL3. Draw the Lewis structure. That's the first drop uh, we will do. So in order to draw the Lewis structure, we count the total valence electron and that comes as 24. Draw the skeleton molecule and we can see how many electrons are used up. I have three atoms or three bond pairs therefore six electrons are gone there and I have uh, six lone electrons on Cl that's a total of 18 electrons used up. So out of the total 24 electrons all are used up so I don't have any lone pair on boron and hence the type of the molecule, the bond angle will be a perfect uh, bond angle as the type of the molecule is AB3. So the bond angle is 120. So the electron domain geometry because it's an AB3 type will be trigonal planar and the molecular geometry also will be trigonal planar because um, there is no lone pair on it. And you can see that the bond angle is also the perfect trigonal planar bond angle. It is a lone pair which changes the molecular geometry and the bond angle. One more example let's do to predict the molecular geometry the type and the bond angle ASCL3. As always the first step is to draw the Lewis structure. Count the valence electron. AS has uh, belongs to group 5 and uh, chlorine to 7 therefore the total valence electron is 26. So when I draw the Lewis structure, I see that I have three atoms or three bond pairs. Therefore, six electrons are used up. And then I have one lone pair on, sorry, lone electrons on Cl is uh, six times three, that is 18 electrons. So I'm done with 24 electrons. And hence, uh, because two uh, electrons are left, I'll have one lone pair on arsenic and and the bond angle for this because because of a presence of three bond pair and one lone pair the bond angle will be lower than the tetrahedral bond angle and it's a type AB4 molecule and as I said since we have uh, three bonds and one lone pair the electron domain geometry will be tetrahedral but because of the presence of the molec uh, lone pair the molecular uh, geometry will change and you can see that the bond angle is also lower than the tetrahedral bond angle and the molecular geometry will be trigonal pyramidal. So one more example, SO2. So as always write the Lewis structure. So we have uh, 6 uh, electrons from sulfur and 6 plus 6 electrons from oxygen giving a total valence electron of 18. So here I have drawn the structure of uh, SO2 which is octet incomplete. There is another structure for SO2 where you uh, have a uh, extended octet without a formal charge. So I am going to predict for this only two atoms or two bond pairs. Therefore I am done with four electrons and then lone electrons on oxygen will be six times two that is twelve electrons. 
So I have used up 12 plus 4, 16 electron and hence I will have one lone pair on sulfur. So looking at this molecule, I have uh, two bond pairs and a lone pair and the bond angle if you check the table is 190 and the type is AB3 because of the presence of two bonds and one lone pair and the electron domain geometry of this molecule will be trigonal planar and presence of the lone pair changes the molecular geometry to bent. We will do more examples in the next video.